How you guys doing today? Uh, today I'm going to take a couple minutes to talk to you about uh, shipping larger or bulky items, uh, things that don't fit into first class priority mail, uh, packaging, things like that. Um, always the best option on a bulky or a large item is the original packaging. So if you can get the original box that it came in and it's capable of handling shipping, this is your way to go. Okay, You don't need to rebox it. You can uh, do your research and find the uh, best, lowest shipping rate you can get on something like this, and you're good to go. Just tape it up nice and tight, and you're off and running. Uh, oddball things. This is a 1-inch diameter, 36-inch long shaft. That's uh, probably worth $300, the shaft. The only way to package this thing up was to roll it up in bubble wrap, and then roll it up in cardboard and tape it up good and secure, and it'll make it to wherever you need to go. I've done plenty of them like this. When you get into uh, some really heavy or uh, large items, this is a hydraulic piston. Okay, this thing probably weighs about 25 pounds. Um, it's expensive. It's probably about seven or eight hundred dollars, this piston. You need to be secure. I mean, you don't want to put this into a large flat rate box because the boxes are flimsy, they'll fall apart. They won't, we won't make it. So what we got here is, this is a, um, I got this from my box store here in Kansas City. It's a um, extra, you know, leftover boxes from this manufacturer, but it's double wall, so it's double thick on the cardboard. So after you tape the box up, you hot glue the flaps on the inside, you glue them down, it makes it much stronger. So, and then you just use about, two inches of uh, popcorn on the bottom. You put your heavy item in there, fill it the rest of the way with popcorn, close it on up, and when you close it up, you hot glue the flaps down and tape them down, and that makes it super strong, and it'll get there in one piece, and you'll have a happy customer. Costs of shipping things like this, you just need to do your research. Uh, when you go on to print your shipping labels, you're gonna look at the cost of priority mail, uh, Parcel Post, FedEx Ground, and if you log on to your PayPal account, you can look at UPS Ground. See which is the best way to go, and it'll vary depending on where you're at and where your item's shipping to. Pack it securely, pack it tight, lots of extra tape on these heavy, big items, you're good to go. That's it, guys. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.